Pable, if you don't know us, we're working with a number of councils all around Australia and now New Zealand as well. And we integrate with all the main technology systems. Now, if you don't know where Parramatta is, we call Parramatta the centre of the Sydney urban area now. It's technically the centre. We have seen in the last 12 months alone a 2% increase in our population, which currently sits around the, the 250-ish thousand mark, especially with government's ambitious property development plans will see a significantly grow over the years, if not double. The cost of living crisis in New South Wales, we're seeing some major changes year on year in just the overall stress levels and 50% uh, of people almost not being able to pay their bills on time. The debt recovery piece is something that's why we sort of looked at payable, having the flexibility and the um, ability for people to pay smaller amounts over weekly and fortnightly seems to work better and helps with that financial stress piece. Some councils are experiencing higher debt levels on the back of the financial stress that we just talked about? There was a, a lot required with manual entry than securing the document. So a lot of people were involved in a very small basic process and here comes payable and it took it all away, wiped it all away for us. And they're secure about it too. I think that was a big, big thing. Like when we launched payable, a lot of people were asking uh, about the security of their information and the compliance because people are now keying in their credit card details as well. And they were quite happy and satisfied with um, what we provided, what was out there for them to use. It was about finding a, a solution that would enable our customers to better manage the finances and be able to pay in instalments. All over Australia, we've got attendees where 6.8% is relatively good. I'm seeing numbers 12, 13, 14, 15 percent, right? It's fantastic for council to get on top of this. We need to reduce the rate, but we obviously want to work with our customers, being our rate payers, and help them reduce the outstanding balance on their account. This is a great tool to sort of reduce our outstanding balance. We used to often get these inquiries where people wanted to pay with a credit card, but with the legacy systems that we have in place and the PCI compliance issue, this had always been a gap in the industry. So Payable brought a good solution in place uh, for these customers. I think SMS reminders is always a good thing. So that gentle reminder that it's going to be deducted from your account and, you know, giving them the heads up is definitely a helpful thing. The first thing was how easy it was at the end of it. Like we can come to you and we can just have our rules change. Like just a month ago, we wanted to change our rules to have um, them paid by 30th of June, give them a little bit more flexibility after we had tried the first installments. So it's just the ease um, of it, how easy it became. With the payable system, we actually recognize who the rate payer is and what they owe and display that balance just from scanning the QR code. We have three options for payment. One is one-off payment where you can make a payment for an amount that you specify as a rate payer. Order pay is just exactly what um, we do with annual and installments like um, most other councils do. Um, so that has now all moved into auto pay where they can set it up. It gives them that flexibility to go in and change in if they want to jump from account to the credit card. So it gives them all of that option as well in that um, auto pay section. What we also feel is important is the ability to pay flexibly as well, right? Picking your flexible payment is super easy. All you need to do is pick when the payments start and Payable will facilitate that for you as well. Supporting credit, debit card and bank account is really important. So the rate payer can easily select which one of these they'd like to pay with and also opt into those details being saved. So that way, all of that's on their end. We now have a rate payer profile where someone can come in and fully manage all the different payment methods that they have and also update their contact details. We used to get um, inquiries <laughs> where uh, they would want to skip a payment. Can you let that next one go? Again, the changing of the details because we were counsel, we needed them to provide it in writing. We would get an email or a form again to redo update from this account to that account. I think the, the challenge initially was just for people to get used to it but once they do uh, the whole forms and the written request has actually reduced for us now in the first month we've seen over 3,000 new direct debits did you have any thoughts on the impact this has made it decreased workload it's increased um, cash flow made our processing um, abilities easier um, and i'll just think it'll have an ongoing effect as you can see with the um 
the numbers, it's definitely a positive move that we've made. I think on day one, uh, we got two comments like within the first hours, well done Parramatta. This was so easy. The smart thing about Payball is it does have the ability based off the rules you want to set to offer different payment options to that customer. And that's geared around keeping, minimizing the manual work that you need to do for arrangements, but also giving the customer the ability to manage that themselves without having to submit the paperwork. Payable does read from Pathway or Tech One or Civica, whichever system you're on. We've got customers on each of them. We see directly out of Pathway the balance, the installments, the amounts people owe, the reasons why. So we're using that as the source of truth. That's what then powers Payable to say create a schedule is it's not the customer inserting how much they owe or even inserting the amount they want to pay at the start. We can see what they need to do and then we're able to suggest the right options to them. Having the team there to support always makes that transition comfortable. Um, obviously, any kind of change is, you know, a little bit scary for any council, especially, you know, it was our first annual notice run. It was on there. We didn't know what, what we were going to expect. But again, as you can see, it was a completely positive experience. So yeah, having that support network did make that transition very easy. And I definitely um, what we'd be looking for in the future. And I would highly recommend it to any council, knowing what's involved with a lot of these processes. It definitely will make all our lives easier in the long term and um, move away from the data entry in the old school mentality.